Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Clayton Macrahan, and I'm a senior at Design Tech High School. 2009, in American Airlines Arena in Miami, Florida. Cavs forward LeBron James runs down the lane and misses a dunk. Fast forward a bit with three minutes and 57 seconds left in the first quarter, and Miami Heat's own Dwayne Wade comes driving in full speed and slams it on Anderson Berjau with one of the most nastiest dunks in NBA history. It was at this moment that I fell in love with the game of basketball. And this was the moment that my interest in basketball peaked. I've been watching the game for years now, and my love for it has grown every single year. Before I continue, I'd like to ask, how many of you are basketball fans? Now, how many of you are Golden State Warrior fans? Yeah, there you go. I actually moved to the Bay Area in 2015 when the Warriors won their first championship. And as a fan of LeBron James and Kyrie Irving, that was pretty bad for me. <laughs> um, so, all right. Um, to me, basketball built a culture. When have shoes really been sought out after because of its brand? Chuck Taylors were the first real pair of basketball shoes that came to prominence in the 1930s. And the shoe industry has only continued to get popular as players like Julius Irving and the Iceman, George Gervin, came into the scene in the NBA and became an essential part of the basketball culture. And then this guy came in, Michael Jeffrey Jordan. And that's when the entire shoe game changed. Jordan's brand blew through the industry and is now worth billions of dollars. Millions of people around the world wear their Jordan brand and other basketball player shoes. Now you have kids going up to their parents and saying, Mom, I will clean the house. I will do my homework if you buy me those new pair of $300 Jordans, instead of saying, Mom, I'll do it just because I want to make you happy. <laughs> and then, not only has basketball affected the shoe game, it's also affected pop culture. When you have a piece of trash in your hand, and there's a trash can in the, your line of sight, what's the first thing most people say when they're about to get their trash and throw in their trash can? They say Kobe, and then hope that they make it in the trash can. Players build culture, and every era had a player or players that had some sort of impact in the game and in the world. Sorry. From the 60s Celtics romp in the NBA to the Magic versus Bird feud in the 80s to the 90s dominance of one Michael Jordan, and now to the current greatness of LeBron James. There's always been a player, players that have had an impact in the game that extended beyond basketball. Take the, this for an example. Stephen Curry is one of the greatest shooters of all time, as we all know. His impact has kids going outside, shooting threes and making perimeter shots, trying to emulate his own game. You have the 6'3 point guard, who isn't the most athletic, who isn't the fastest, who isn't the strongest, that's dominating the league and inspiring the younger generations that watch him. You have kids shooting threes and then afterwards going out and doing the Steph Curry shimmy. It's this case by having an average man that people can relate to, impacting and influencing other people because of their relatability. And now to my next point. Basketball built a community and a call to action. We have all these issues going on in the world that are hard to understand, but many athletes, and not only in basketball, are speaking out. After the controversial death of Eric Garner in 2014, many NBA players across the league began to wear shirts that said the words, I can't breathe. To represent the last few words of Garner after his horrendous encounter with the police. And then, during this incident, Kobe Bryant was recorded as saying, it's become a thing 
where people standing up for their rights, they're really questioning the just, justice system. They're questioning the process of the legal system and those who have authority, and whether or not they're abusing authority, and what's the threshold to use the force, and so forth and so on. Even internally, the NBA has built a niche and a community for all of its players and for all the fans of the game. On October 17, 2017, Boston Celtics forward Gordon Hayward suffered a gruesome ankle injury during the opening minutes of their season opener against the Cleveland Cavaliers, yet received much support from fans and players all over the league. And when this occurred, players across the league and fans all joined together to spread the hashtag pray for Gordon Hayward all across social media. So no matter what team you are a fan of, no matter what team you played for, this guy was a player in your community and you had to pray for his recovery. No one ever wants to see their own player or any other player get injured in the league. And they all want them to recover. And lastly, basketball gives motivation to be great. LeBron James is now considered to be one of the greats in the NBA. He was raised by a single mother, Gloria James, in Akron, Ohio. And during elementary school, James lived with a foster family, and Gloria was never able to land a steady job. So she and LeBron always moved from apartment to apartment. After playing football and gaining a positive influence through his coach, Frankie Walker, LeBron James is now considered to be one of the great players and one of the most successful businessmen in the world. Many players in the NBA had little to nothing to start with. They were either poor, had single parents, deaths in the family, or a culmination of multiple issues. But they were still driven to work hard and be considered for the draft. Having a goal and passion for something is what motivates people towards achieving that goal. And no matter where you came from, you're all able to achieve anything in your dreams. And now I'll end it off with a quote by one of the greatest players of all time. Some people want it to happen. Some wish it would happen. And others make it happen. What will you do to achieve your dreams and make them a reality? And how will you make your life more than what it is now? Thank you.